Early fall is our favorite time to be on the vineyard, and we've spent many years settling in for extended stays where we can dig deep into the landscape, listen to new stories from old salts, let the light wash over us and wonder at the ever-rolling waves. The dream, my biggest long-held dream, is to live there. Ever since my friend Lynn first brought me to that bluff in Chilmark, I knew I was home. To be able to have a studio whose doors open into the everyday world of that island, where I could feel the wind changing and drop my brushes and jump in the truck and see where this storm's rainbow lands, or hear a rumor on the grapevine that the pinkle tinks are early this year and hear them for myself, or know that I should put an extra spoon on the table because Pat has stopped in for a visit with Jane and they're on their way. I work at my easel hundreds of miles away with that dream on the tip of my brushes. And from my studio window here, I can almost see the path to that island studio door. So far frustratingly just beyond my reach. Then this year dawned, and like for so many of us, it has shifted the axis of our worlds profoundly, existentially, and breathtakingly challenged our realities and our dreams. Trying to find a way to the easel, a way to be creative in the midst of, in the face of, and in spite of the myriad layers of crisis and trauma, I've returned over and over to my island soul how fundamental it is to my work and my truth, and how transformational is the dream of living there. So when I was finally able to focus and pick up my brushes, I decided to paint that door, to make real a kind of portal. With the sea at my back and the spirit of our many angels in the wind, I wanted to plant my battle-scarred smock right there on that bluff that knows me so well and use those over-south signal flags at the rest position to turn and face me, the artist, and literally signal her home. <laughs>